Hi, welcome back. I'm Jory and I do have some empties and some post burn candle reviews. So let me grab the bag. I end up putting it in this bag because we have so many like reusable whole food bags. So mine was well using for my empties. So Just dump them. So I can pull that in the bag. All right. Went. Got through some masks. First, I end up going through these little wet. Um. Went through three of the body. Sorry, some of my eye itching. Body prescription cucumber and aloe face mask so I went through three only thing I don't like about these masks is usually you use a mask wash your face you know use the mask and then after the time about 15 or 20 minutes um you just rub in the serum but this one you have to wear for 20 minutes and then rinse it so I didn't even read that one so I read the mask but I went to repurchase these. I think five came in there in a pack. So I think I got like two more. I'm just using it up. But I went to repurchase. I'd rather just, you know, massage the rest of the um rest of the um nutrients or whatever, the cucumber aloe into my skin versus washing it off. Cause I already washed my face. Come on. And then I use the thirsty hands. Hands feel oh, sometimes a bit um dry when you keep washing them so um my cousin did give me these um i think for i don't know like she do like baskets or some are in a christmas gift and i was like let me use these so they wasn't inspired or anything so guess what they look like they look like the pattern like this and you just put them on your hands for 15 20 minutes and then just rub it in so this definitely helps with like dry hands like sometimes i just i did this and um didn't put in like lotion or nothing else on it and just went to bed so i just did that before bed and i like those so i would repurchase and that's the brand if you can see it really nice um let's see what we're gonna go to Went through another white pack to go pack Clorox, the disinfected wipes. Love those. Um, I think I only have two of these, so let me go through. I went through two room sprays, the blue, verbena, and lime. To me, this smell like a barbershop that has like, it's like you in a barbershop and somebody sprayed like something citrus or fruity in it. And they mixed the smell of the pop shop and the fragrance. So I did enjoy that. I got one more, so I would repurchase that. And then I finished up uh, my last black cherry Malo. So that one was nice. Finished up this Nivea um, Fresh Natural 0% Aluminum salt, Salts Long Lasting uh, Freshness. This was good. And I found it at TJ Maxx and I could not find it anymore once after I used it and could not find it. But this just was so refreshing and last all day. So definitely a repurchase if I see it. They do have like the, um, and it was a quick dry. They do have like the containers like that, but I think it's something else and it's not aluminum um, salt free. So would repurchase that got through some immunity um capsules and it has from um healthy by habit so got that um can't go so it has like vitamin c and essential i don't know what that word is but it uh elderberry ginger and zinc and chin Nessie, whatever it is, 
whatever it's called, but I like these and I buy them from Walmart. Um, and it got selenium in it. So, um, they none GMO, vegan, no artificial coloring and flavors. So I do, um, like products by health by habit, but that was just the immunity, you know, just keep taking your vitamins and stuff. My favorite, um, face washes, I think I got it from TJ Maxx and it's the Dr. Branton, Brant, Dr. Brant, um, pore purifying cleanser. I've been using this for like the past, what, almost like two years. I got one more left. I'm using another cleanser because I only got one more left, but after that, I'm going to use this one. But it like really keeps my face like clear of like break it breakouts and stuff and it has white i mean it's with celiac acid tea tree oil and white willow bark so so good definitely a repurchase i like that brand finish a car mix fresh cherry so i'm trying to be more better with my lip products um, let's see. Is this on? Oh, got a wet ones. I like this in the car. Wet ones tropical splash. I like that. Um, really nice scent. You know, you need some wet ones in the car. You always getting a snack or something on the go. Um, got through two of the wildflowers. I mean, cause I. Did I save it? No, that's all right. Um, I went through a sunshine mimosa and it has notes of bright bubbly champagne, fresh citrus. That one was good. I had it in the bathroom. So sunshine mimosa, I will repurchase. White t-shirt, I went through. And the notes are crisp pear, lavender cloud, and soft sandalwood. Um, white tea, white t-shirt is okay for me like the candle was okay i burnt one um it wasn't really my favorite i ended up um gifting like for christmas my other white tea shirt candle so not a repurchase with white tea um let's see next i went through a let me go through this one um Onyx bathhouse, and this was strawberry, kiwi, and apple. It smelled good, but the texture of this was really like almost like slimy or really taffy, kind of like I didn't like the consistency of this one, but it smelled good. So, not a repurchase of the um, always be unique unicorn dreams with Moroccan oil. I just didn't like the texture of that. Um, went through a self-love, self-care cotton candy with jojoba oil. This was so good and it smelled amazing. And it's cotton candy um, by Honest Bathhouse. Loved it. Really enjoyed it. I got one more um, and I got it for a discount. I just don't know what it was. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, definitely a repurchase of the cotton candy on its bathhouse body scrub went through some soaps got through a you're the doggone best i got a couple more just smell like cereal and what well, is rainbow cereal smell like cereal and milk um really let's see fruity cereal crunch and splash of milk basically what it is i enjoyed it um i have that in the kitchen sink um next i went through a ice lemon pound cake i had two but my friend took one when she came over so uh she got the other one glazed ice and pure zesty lemon pure lemon zest and fluffy cake she said oh i like that so she got the rest i think i had two more so i gave her that one and the one that i already was in the guest bathroom so um it was okay for me like it's a good scent um i'm just like not a huge huge fan of gourmand but i do like it 
So, um, but I probably wouldn't repurchase it again. It's not a bad scent. It's just, I'm not really, really big on like cakey kind of grommands, but I'll sprinkle a few in there just to switch it up. But it is a good scent. It just, I might not do it in hand soap again, but um, it's a good like scent if you like gourmands and you know like cakey scent. Um, went through my one of my last, I think my last one in my collection, the pink lilac and vanilla. Love it in all forms. Um, and this has fresh lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and vanilla blossom. So good, powdery, sweet, floral. Love it, love it, love it every year. I think that's my last one. Went through a mahogany teak wood and it's rich mahogany, black teak wood, and dark oak. We had a few rain like days or whatever. So I said, let me put something in at the sink that's a little deeper. Um, and this is good, you know, mahogany teak wood always come around and a favorite of people. Last two soaps I went through is Aren't You Amazing? And the notes are fresh squeezed orange, tanger, I mean tangy, tangerine, and sugar crystal. This was really nice. Um sunny squeeze. So really, really nice. Good for summertime, hot days. You know, this was good summer, bright, um, fruity scent. Next I got through, let me get all the pieces. Got through um, the Cotton Candy Cloud. And it's in different, <laughs> look like it's in different packaging for everything. <laughs> but hey, I made I made a collection. <laughs> so first, let's see, I went through the shower gel and it has sugar spun, spun sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. Um... The shower gel was so good. Like, I don't know, lately at the collections or, you know, the whole line, the shower gel has been hitting. So, love it. Uh, wasn't too overly sweet. Um, just right. So, I enjoyed that. Then next, I went through the lotion. The lotion was good as well. Um, I, mm, I may... Pick this collection up again, Cotton Candy Clouds. Not my favorite, like, sweet one that they came out with. I think so far, like, the Blueberry Maple Pancakes was so good. Um, This one's okay. It's not bad, so it's a maybe. Or I just pick up whatever, like, I don't have too many, like, overly sweet things in my collection as far as body care, but I give that a try. It's a maybe for repurchasing. And then I finished the Cotton Candy Clouds, um, Fine Fragrance Mist from, I think this is from this SAS. Um, yeah, because it's the only one I picked up. So it was okay. It's a maybe. Not my favorite, but it was still good. Like I said, out of this, I pick up, re pick up the um, shower gel. So next one I finish. Next line. See if I can hold all of them is the summer melody and i did not realize this had vanilla so i was looking at the lotion i was like is it going away and i said oh it got vanilla let me go ahead and use it yes yeah, so summer melody i remember using a um this is like i think my backup so i don't have anymore because i did use it um I think the year it came out and I um, took it to took it on vacation so I don't have any more this is my last one so I did go through the exfoliating glow body scrub not my favorite and this has golden honey this line has golden honey and um, bronze vanilla so this is okay um, it's not really exfoliating <laughs> so it's on the days that you're not using like your more rougher exfoliated and it's just switch it up so you won't be um using like the more um coarser exfoliating so i like the smell but not a repurchase for the glow stuff um 
end up going through the shower gel shower gels was so good this is definitely a nice fruit vanilla scent and i would repurchase some of melody and then i end up going through the moisturizing body wash loved it i think this came out on, i think it's 2022 when this came out like i said i used the first one on vacation and then i i said oh this because i try to use the when i heard about like the vanilla in the products go bad quick and i didn't even realize this had vanilla so i wanted to use it up because i used my other ones up that had vanilla in it because i just didn't want to go bad last but not least i used the body lotion really loved it it's empty <laughs> except for that little part back there but definitely a repurchase of summer melody and then since i was loving that i ended up just pulling out i think it was my only one i think i already used one yeah i usually buy my pocket bags in two so this was summer melody in the pocket bag as well and i finished that all right let's go to the candles let me see let me pull them over so first is the back row blooms I put this in a candle crock. Um, it has honeysuckle, orange blossom, neroli, and bright citrus. Um, this is just too much. It's a high throw. It's it's a high throw pass um, laundry day. <laughs> okay, that's how strong it was. But I did not like the smell of it. It wasn't a floor that I can handle. Um really too strong and if it's throwing like that and the scent is not there i just can't do it so i end up trying to um mix this with something to kind of tone it down but honey she is a baddie honey she like uh-uh nobody upstage me i'm the only one on the stage but i couldn't stand the smell so not a repurchase of the backyard blooms it just oof it was just too much like it was potpourri on steroids uh you know that potpourri stuff that be in the hotel um or like maybe restaurant bathroom some it hun oof better white one even wore this one and i look oh i love some golden girls who else watched golden girls honey it will pass that honey i don't even think they would have both wore this one oof it was just Ooh, too much. Oh, I can't stand it. I repurchased. Next one is the Island Dried Linen from Goose Creek. I don't know when this came out, but it was an older one. Um, and it has warm linens, jasmine, and orange. And it burned all the way down. No issues. Definitely a high thrower. Um, filled my open concept travel down the halls you can smell it in the other room um this smelled like a it was grassy um it didn't have any like orange it was grassy you could smell the jasmine um a little fresh so you know it was a nice one to just burn open your windows sometimes i didn't have my windows open like the whole time but a few times i did because it's it's a high thrower um but it's nice if you like grassy scents and jasmine um like i said i don't get any orange in this but it burned really good all the way down so i would repurchase the island dry linen if it's not really like a linen like sundress linen or fresh sheets linen or like that but it's just a nice fresh kind of like grassy scent to me um so i finished up a hummingbird tea cake from bath and body works pretty packaging and it has pineapple cake batter cinnamon spice and toasted pecans to me to me, it's like a toned down version of the carrot cake, sweet carrot cake that they you they um come out with. You don't get I didn't get any pineapple. 
it's a little nuttiness to it, but because I like um hummingbird tea cake. I mean a hummingbird cake. I make hummingbird cake. Um it's something my grandma used to make and I think she had it in Jamaica when she went and she was making it. And we usually had it springtime. Um but I usually kinda make it during like on Thanksgiving or something or sometime in the mostly in the springtime though, but sometime when I don't know what dessert to make, I make it again. But in um on Thanksgiving, but it's more to me. I like it in the spring. Um so burn all the way down, no issues. And to me it's a good alternative to carrot cake. They sweet carrot cake to me that gives me more fall because the spices are not too strong in this where it remind me of um fall and you definitely get the cake note so i don't know about tea but it just smelled like a light like a i say light spice but you could still smell it so it was good so i got two more so I definitely enjoy that again and I would repurchase. It's like a medium high for me. Definitely throws pretty good in the open concept and travels. You know, down the hall, you can smell it. Um, let's see. Next, I cropped a uh, frosted coconut snowball. So you can tell I cropped it because the wicks are body glass and the notes are toasted coconut vanilla must and whipped cream i just don't like this scent i don't know this musty coconut it's some melts in it that i'm not like loving so i meant to gift this at christmas <laughs> but when i was pulling out my older candles and trying to get through those i saw this and i was like honey girl you supposed to be out of here i meant to gift you but i said let me it's i was um Burn another coconut candle so I in a different area in the bedroom. So I had this on a crock in the uh, open concept. It's a medium high. I just don't care for the scent. Um, like I say, it's a musky coconut, but it's something about it that's a little off for me. So not a repurchase. So Christmas in July. <laughs> um, the next one I got is pumpkin apple. This one just smells like um, an apple cider vinegar. I mean, apple cider drink. Delicious red, red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, and ground cinnamon. I just had this when it was like rainy evenings. Burned that to the to that point, then it was getting really puny wheat. So I put on the counter crock high thrower. If you like apple cider vinegar, I mean apple cider drink, not vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. Not apple cider vinegar, apple cider um, drink, you know, with the sticks, honey, this is it. But not a repurchase because I feel like that just reminds me of like when you get sick in the fall and my mom used to make apple cider. So not a repurchase for me. Last but not least, I went through two endless weekends and the notes are Fresh summer mandarin, sun kissed magnolia, and blue coconut water. I was burning this one and then, you know, it got hot, so I just put it in the candle crop because I still want the fragrance. Really nice um, floral, coconut, sweetness, beauty. Really, really nice. And then I, end, I was burning this one in the other room. Um, really nice, a medium throw. And I just cropped it because it was just too hot to burn candles. Hubby really loves this. And he usually just don't um, compliment on candles, but he loved Endless Weekend. He was like, ooh, it smells so good in here. So that was Endless Weekend. <laughs> so he loves that. So definitely repurchase on the candle. Um, so that's it. So thanks for watching and see you next time.